When I say stop, you say Harper. Stop. Harper. Stop. Harper. When I say occupy, you say Canada. Occupy. Canada. Occupy. Canada. Woo! Thank you so much for having me today to speak at this social justice rally on the day to eradicate poverty. We are here to demand that our government change. Because our government, instead of taking action on poverty and inequality, is worsening it. And we are here to demand change. I am so inspired to see so many of you out here today. To Occupy Canada. What is so amazing about the Occupy movement is that we are the 99%. And what does that mean? That nobody gets left behind. We will not accept one person going hungry, one person being jobless, one person being homeless. We are the 99% and we are going to put a stop to the 1% of corporate greed. A few months ago, I held up a sign in the Senate to stop Harper. We see his destructive agenda. It is destructive for people in Canada, for Indigenous peoples, for workers, for students, for women, for everyone. Public health care! I was extremely discouraged to see this, as were so many Canadians after the election, but no longer. I am so inspired by these incredible mobilizations, by people coming together. Occupy the world! I made one small action that got a lot of attention, but we see people coming together every day to stop Harper and stop corporate greed. After the action in the Senate, the mainstream media tried to belittle me, and they are trying to belittle the Occupy mobilizations. I read an article in the National Post today saying, comparing the numbers that are showing for mobilizations to an Italian wedding. My response to that, this is a tremendous marriage. Of outrage and of action. And why are they trying to belittle us? Because they're scared. Because we are no longer expressing our concerns on Facebook, on Twitter, in the privacy of our small friendship groups, we are getting mobilized. <laughs> Occupy has brought to the fore the shameful inequalities in Canada. Taxes have never been so low. The gap between the richest and the rest of us is enormous and continues to grow even more rapidly than in the United States. The top 1% holds 13.8% of wealth. And there are appalling inequalities within that 99%. For example, for women and indigenous peoples. So, what is Harper doing about this? Nothing. Nothing. In fact, he's expanding this gap with corporate tax cuts and by allowing companies to avoid taxes by investing in foreign banks. This is wasting billions of dollars and wasting billions of dollars on fighter jets when he should be spending money on education, on health care, on us. As we see Harper's agenda go forward, we see our social and environmental fabric being eroded. It's getting harder and harder for average Canadians to get by. But we say, no longer. Change 
will not happen in Parliament. No, right. It is outside that we will make change. Right. It is the only thing that has ever led to fundamental changes in our society. And we see young people rising up from in Egypt, all the way to Greece, all the way to Chile. And now we are rising up right here in North America, in Canada. There are so many ways that we can take nonviolent direct action to challenge an unjust government that is part of an unjust system. And we are doing that right here. There are so many ways, you know, there are strikes, worker walkouts. I've been extremely inspired by protests in the UK, people who are occupying banks. I love Jeep Shark! I saw folks who were who set up a child care in a bank in order to say we have no child care, we have no spaces for our children because money is going to bailing out banks instead. Yeah! Imagine how incredible an action like this would be in Canada. When we see Harper, who has abandoned our universal child care strategy and instead has spent $75 billion bailing out banks. What is amazing about Occupy is that it shows that we are all activists. Anybody can be an activist. And our movement is not leaderless. We are all leaders. And as we come together in the streets to take action, we become a living, breathing force for change. When I say stop, you say Harper. Stop. Harper. Stop. Harper. When I say occupy, you say Canada. Occupy. Canada. Occupy. Canada. Woo!